Today we're headed out to Carp, Ontario. We're going to ride the Carp Barrens trails where things like to get pretty rocky, but in a good way. Welcome back everyone, and if you're new here, thanks so much for spending your time with us. Those who've ridden here before might remember it's kind of a tricky trail to get warmed up for. My recommendation, get creative with it, practice those roundhouse kicks, whatever gets your blood pumping. It's also very important to know that this trail lies on one of the most ecologically significant areas in our region. Because of that, this trail is actually closed for a large portion of the summer to protect birds, nesting turtles, and other species. It's really important we respect that, so please check out the dates on the screen. Lastly, please stay on the trail when riding out here and use one of two stations at the trailhead to wipe down your tires before riding. This helps prevent the spread of invasive species and allows us to ride here for years to come. Very straightforward. Just roll straight down it. Come maybe a little wider. So you're going right down it. Around here, yeah. you know, you can still hold on to your brake and still have grip. Yeah, I mean. Very smooth.
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> first try. Yeah. We ended our day at Eldon's Pantry, a great little cafe in the heart of Carp Village, roughly a 10 minute drive from the trailhead. This little place is packed full of great stuff. They have the usual coffee, pastry, and sandwiches. You could also find things here like local meats, fresh bread, and other provisions to take home. If that wasn't enough, there's also a brewery right next door. Treating yourself has never been easier. Well, that about sums it up. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Also, please leave a comment with any place that you think we should go uh, check out. We love doing these trail reports. We're in the Ontario and Quebec region all the time. Um, yeah, we'd love to hear it. Thanks so much. Cheers. Did you get them? Got a couple.